afternoon students so we were discussing about the topic that is balanced and unbalanced forces so in a balanced force there will be no resultant force right that is uh, here the forces will be uh, equal and in opposite direction means it will be in a uh, balanced that will be a balanced force and there will be no resultant movement or resultant force in the case of an unbalanced force there will be a resultant uh, force that is in one of the side the force will be larger or smaller and uh, so the resultant will be uh, resultant force will be in the direction in which there is a larger um, where there is a larger force okay so yesterday we have learned how uh, the this unbalanced force helps in slowing down an object uh, with the help of a parachute that is here the air resistance is increased in a parachute because a lot of air particles is trapped in this air pa uh, parachute so here uh, the air resistance will be more uh, than the weight exerted downwards so automatically it slows down when it is slowing down means the air resistance is uh, air resistance uh, air resistance is what it is the uh, particles of air that is trapped in this particular uh, what this parachute uh, that is impact created by those particles will be gradually decreasing allow decrease when slow down on the speed of the heat tail up air resistance I'm going to so at the point air resistance and weight will be equal and we can say that they will be traveling at a constant speed this is about parachute next we are going to discuss about changing direction Unbalanced forces can also make objects change direction. Okay, so this tennis ball can uh, never can uh, this tennis ball will change direction because of an unbalanced force. Okay, we are hitting with a racket, so there will be changing uh, there will be change in the direction. So when the ball contacts the tennis racket, the ball pushes on the tennis racket to make the ball go back in the opposite direction the hitting force must be larger than the force from the ball alle nammal kodukkuna force korchum kooda koodal maatra anengil ayinde direction maarullu so this can be shown in the diagram so hitting force on the ball is like this this is a tennis racket uh, the hitting force on the ball so it is the uh, it is a move, uh, here we can see the direction which is moving in the opposite direction ball ingotu aanu verunathu here we can see that the ball is hmm, like this force of the ball exerted to the tennis rocket it will be like this and here you can see that the heating force on the ball uh, will be towards the left okay so that's stage 7 topic 3.3 that is topic 3.3 describes plants orbiting uh, the sun due to what the force of gravity the force of gravity on a planet is constant uh, that is unbalanced force when an object moves in a circle, its direction is always changing. Even though one constant speed is going to go in a circle, position is direction mari 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 direction. We can say there is a force exerted towards the center. That is a gravitational force. That is a force because of that. Uh, there is an attraction towards the center. So at every point it is changing the direction. So there is an unbalanced force acting on it. So the force of gravity on a planet is constant, the unbalanced force. When an object moves in a circle, it is a direction is always changing. A constant unbalanced forces need to keep an object uh, moving in a circle. Hello, unbalanced force, a constant eye, unbalanced force. Um, uh, gravity a circular object we have just a rope a stone we have to tie it just in a car we have to the direction there will be a force which is acting uh, an inward force acting in the feel so every moving object which is in a circular direction means there will be a force which is acting towards the center which is the unbalanced force so here also there is a change in direction at every point point we have a change in direction so when forces are equal in size summarize when forces are equal in size and on opposite direction the forces are balanced a balanced force means when forces are in equal in size and opposite in direction means we can say it is a balanced force balanced forces co cause no change in moment about a change in momentum will because ella direction uh, equal forces are acting in other so there will be no resultant movement when forces are not equal in size 
or uh, act in any direction that are not opposite the forces are unbalanced alle right? adha the uh, forces unequal sizes la anengil in opposite uh, direction we can say it is an unbalanced force unbalanced forces causing change in movement that is speeding up slowing down changing direction angane oru vaadu nammal nokki alle oru movement create cheyum evade aano resultant force kudral ullathu aa side lot oru movement case create cheyum parachute inde case il namukku arayam air resistance aanu kudulla that means it is not floating up words generally namaku uh, due to gravity karanam oru downward force undavum pakshe air resistance moolilotu aanu koodal appo what happens nar the 30 meter per second nalladu slow down aavum 20 or 10 angane oru slow down aavana cheynadu okay so uh, here we can say that if the sizes of forces are equal and the direction is opposite means it is balance there is no change in moment uh, sizes of forces equal not opposite അപ്പൊ അവിടെ അൺബാലൻസ്ഡ് ആണ് അതായത് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ ഇപ്പൊ നമുക്കൊരു സ്റ്റോൺ ഉണ്ടെന്ന് വിചാരിക്കാം രണ്ട് ഈക്വൽ ഫോഴ്സസ് ആക്ട് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് ഒരേ ഡയറക്ഷനിൽ അപ്പൊ എന്താ റിസൾട്ടന്റ് എങ്ങോട്ടാ ദർ ഇസ് എൻ അപ്വേർഡ് ഫോഴ്സ് അങ്ങനെയാണ് പറയുന്നത് ഇവിടെ ഒന്നുമില്ല അപ്പൊ ദിസ് ഇസ് എൻ അൺബാലൻസ് ഫോഴ്സ് എപ്പോഴും ബാലൻസ് ഫോഴ്സ് എന്ന് പറയുമ്പോൾ ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് ഈക്വൽ സൈസസ് ഇൻ ഓപ്പോസിറ്റ് ഡയറക്ഷൻ മീൻസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് അതായത് ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് ഉണ്ടാവുന്ന ഡൗൺവേർഡ് ഫോഴ്സ് ഇസ് ബാലൻസ് ബൈ ദ അപ്വേർഡ് ഫോഴ്സ് ഇവിടെ അപ്വേർഡ് ഫോഴ്സ് മാത്രമേ ഉള്ളൂ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഇങ്ങനെയും നമുക്ക് പറയാം ഇങ്ങനെയാണെന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാലും ഹിയർ ഡൗൺവേർഡ് ഫോഴ്സ് മാത്രമേ ഉള്ളൂ ഇനിയിപ്പോൾ സൈഡ് വേസ് എന്ന് പറയുകയാണെങ്കിൽ ഇവിടെ സൈഡ് വേസ് ഫോഴ്സ് മാത്രമേ ഉള്ളൂ സോ അങ്ങനത്തെ കേസസ് ഒക്കെ ഇത് അൺബാലൻസ് ഫോഴ്സ് ആണ് സോ ദോൾ ബി ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ ദ ഡയറക്ഷൻ ഇൻ വിച്ച് ഫോഴ്സ് ഇസ് ആക്ടിങ് Uh, so next is size uh, size of the force is not equal for example in the case ivada larger force ivada smaller force alling appo ee cases la size of the force is not equal so this is an unbalanced force appo onnilengil increasing speed or decreasing speed ee case la aning endha irikkum sambhavikka speed avada decrease avum because resultant force endu parayunnathu upward aanu so automatically ella speed avada koreyum next is um, not equal size of forces not equal and not opposite app endalum unbalanced aanu mothathil adu unbalanced aanu cheynathu increase or decrease and there is a change of direction change of direction ee oru position la aanu vera ellam ore direction lote aanu act cheynathu so adu undu this is known as change of direction okay appo ee box um ee summary um ningada notebook il eludha and please try to answer this question okay i will help you to answer നമുക്ക് അത് ലൈവ് സെഷനിൽ അത് ഡിസ്കസ് ചെയ്യാം ഓക്കെ താങ്ക് യു ചൂർ